Home Mobility launches Change with Job campaign to build Africa's largest electric mobility ecosystem in Ghana. Wahoo Mobility, a leader in designing and manufacturing electric vehicles, tailored for African Road, which is proud to announce its launch of its Change with Job campaign and the ambition of national initiatives with the aim to create 1,000 jobs in just 100 days in order to empower Ghanaian youth and driving the transition to sustainable mobility. So how do we raise or we get people to eat 1,000 dollars so young people can have immediate employment through the use of these uh, very well crafted uh, bicycles, the battery beside the bicycles. So it's a Ghanaian in the And there's a greater dream out there, very soon you might be seeing e that uh, the young people are here, a job created by a young person for young people. So I'm here to support this uh, campaign. For us to help to use that up. So that's all, I want to thank you, and I'm sure that uh, we are going to get a thousand people, corporations, companies, to donate 1,000 each, 1,000 dollars, so that in a short period of 100 days, we can have 1,000 young people engaged in the productive. And secondly, we're looking for support from corporates, from church institutions, from old school associations, from groups, and from individuals who can sponsor a rider with a thousand dollars and change their life. So please reach out to us. Please spread the word. This is not talk. This is real. This is a chance in the next 100 days to create a thousand jobs and get Ghana's youth work. Last year, Wahoo created 300 jobs for mobility entrepreneurs doing delivery, but also in engineering within our own company and at a community level with mechanics also being trained. We trained a lot of community level mechanics to be able to support EVs. And I think it's only with this kind of initiative that there is an opportunity for hundreds of people in hundreds of communities to actually get employed. It's not difficult, it's not a complicated program, sponsor a rider, and that will have a knock-on impact on their families, but also create this ecosystem where electric vehicles can be introduced into the country quickly and easily, saving us from spending money on petrol, but also saving us by having young people active and working. The thing about our e-bikes is we designed it for Ghana. Um, so each of our bikes has two batteries and that battery does 70 kilometers in range. So with the two on, that's 140 kilometers. That's like riding from Accra to Kwewu every day. Um, and the good thing is the batteries come off the bike and you can charge them the same way you charge your phone or your laptop. Uh, which makes it easy. You don't need any complicated infrastructure. Uh, we already have bikes on the road in Lome, so as a Ghanaian company, we're trying to scale up across the continent, and it's just a very easy vehicle to use. We have enough batteries. It doesn't take too much energy to charge at home, and it's much cheaper, much more affordable than you. The young people across Ghana need tangible things to do. One of the biggest things that has held us back this year has been, even though the political will is, even though the political is there in terms of wanting to introduce electric vehicles. Um, in actuality, the policy environment is there to support entrepreneurs like me to actually scale. One of the things that have held us back this year is we spent a huge amount of taxes, a huge amount of taxes, but also just a lot of money on just doing business in Ghana, which has meant that um, we, as part of our business model, we offer the bike on a payment plan to riders, which allows them to pay over 24 months making it affordable to them. But just the cost of doing business in Ghana is so expensive that we're at risk of not being able to offer it. And so this is the reality is, if we can get support from the public, we will overcome the challenges that we have on policy and actually drive the impact that we need and get Ghanaians back.
enti mi so so enti adwuma de wo pese adwuma ba man mo nya ban ko na ti kreti adwuma aban kreti adwuma kro enya yie o mbe di sika no o ma e di sika mom so mo kreti adwuma mo di fa wo so de obi a private young person on ba so mo wo mo ye radi na young people o mo ye adwuma nyina young graduates o mo kwa na wo ha so mo machines a wo ba e wo enti we ya de bia enti na me me di midina touch me 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 nya engineer me nya businessman but who is who be at the par gana ni be at the par or so boano no o ye yi go ye yi a ye man ni na ye ni o mo aye nwini because adwuma de wo do ani to aban so a wo bebre adwuma bebre ho the third as a bio wa adwuna wo dwuna ene kwa be fa so na ya me hia enti me hia bi bi e ka no mentor so say you only the really share me didn't come or say 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 na me me share no me to no for yes say say ka ka now I will do now. I'm done playing with my bike. Um, what I have to tell people is that um, if, um, if, um, working with Wahoo is, 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 is very um, beneficial so, because when we don't um, buy fuel and it's just charge fuel and we get much income when working with Wahoo because we don't use some of the money to buy fuel. And when um, uh, there is a force in it, we have a, 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 a call center number we do call and they will see if if um, they will help us through the call or or and even um, we now have um, nearby station that we do send um, our problems to. So I would encourage anyone out there um, to, to join Wawu and make enough money to cater for himself or for, for the family or even the school. Thank you.
Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.